Uh, because of responsibility and accountability, um, I preach, I teach, simply because understanding has been given to me. Um, other scriptures from the Most High, yeah, and I'm not like a lot of people. Um, when I have something so privileged um, that I can actually be honorable and truthful and actual and factual um, and be very responsible for, um, such as being an ambassador of the kingdom of, of heaven uh, by telling the truth on this earth in the midst of a wicked and perverse generation. I'm not a, afforded the opportunity like a lot of people where, you know, religion, you think about this for a second. I'm going to jump thoughts here, okay? Let me digress, all right? Religion picks and chooses what subjects and what topics they are going to believe and not believe. What subjects they're going to choose to promote and not promote. That's the reason why you have so many different denominations or demonations. Uh, because you have diversities of culture and you have one culture that has tried, that it actually did it. They actually has literally taken not only the God of a particular culture, but they actually have, have um, taken their Bible, their script, the whole nine yards and redefined and repackaged it and come out with something called Christianity. And now the whole world is duped and deceived by it. It's all totally amazing. But I'm not afforded the privilege to uh, some things it's okay for me to talk about and other things it's not okay for me to talk about because if I talk about some things, it's going to make people uncomfortable. And you have to understand, I'm not a politician. Um, I don't give a damn about the people's vote when it comes to whether they like or dislike and stuff. I'm here to represent the truth. And if you were called to represent the truth, would you be a hypocrite like you are right now or would you really truly represent the truth? Would you um, selectively cherry pick the subjects that you're going to speak on? Would you do your due diligence and investigate and, and, in order to get the truth out to the people who really truly want to know it or would you just ignore the truth, stick your head in a hole and act like it never did happen and we just continue to go on life as is? Well, you have your hypocrites and cowards that are really to do that in this life, but not me. Um, I've got subject, and I'm sure there's a whole bunch of more subjects that in this little uh, time of life that I'm afforded that I'm going to actually approach. It's going to be very uncomfortable for a lot of people out there. Nevertheless, if people want to know the truth, the truth that sets free, and that's the one thing that truth does. It always sets free, and it always makes you free. Uh, and the lie is what always is what always binds. I'm not going to be marginalized, and neither am I going to dissent, neither am I going to cowtail and take off and run and tuck tail and run simply because people don't like certain subjects, and since they don't love the Bible like they thought. See, a lot of people, you people are finding out that you really truly love religion and most of your religion is your own ideology and your own theology that you conjure up in your own mind your own book of the law and you can't handle the truth you can't take it and neither can you live it but you expect the whole world to bow down and cowtail to your theology your theories and your philosophies and none of them gender the truth whatsoever at all now i won't submit to that tyranny and neither will I, I allow the people who choose to listen to me to it. No, they're not going to be deceived. We may have all been deceived, and I'm sure there are many, many areas that we're deceived in right now in this life. But I know one thing, um, as long as there's breath in my body, the people that listen to me, they're not going to be deceived anymore. Uh, to hell with your religious philosophies and stuff. We're going to tell the truth that the God of the Hebrews gave them, and we're going to promote that. I don't care about your civil governments, uh, your social standings. I don't care about what your nasty, defiled family thinks. I don't care about none of that stuff. I care about promoting his truth and his truth alone. And if you don't like it, turn the channel, unsubscribe, go on and have a good life and have a good day. Uh, but know this, at the end of it, you're going to be judged. All of us are going to be judged. Um, so I can't help that I'm not uh, some Ahab, two bis cowardly hypocrite. Mama Dow didn't breed, nor did she have anyone like that. And I, I, I hadn't been a coward in my life, and I'm not about to start to be. So I'm not running from any truth. I don't care what that truth is. I will promote it. And if you don't like it, and you're so educated, and and you think you know so much, and you're so much of a theologian, then take me up on my civil discussions and debates that are recorded live that we can get out in front of an intelligent audience who can ask intelligent questions and let us all really be tried. Let our hearts be tried. Let our opinions be tried. Let our very soul be tested and tried so that the people can get free. That, that I'm willing to do. How many of you know men like that? Most of them just rather have a relationship based on if you agree with them and that's it. Now, I remember being in the world 
having an idol, in my opinion. I'm not doing that mess no more. It's too dangerous.